Sometimes being a mom is a lot like being a motivational speaker. All right, let go! Where's Laura? Mama, where's your dad? Can you say Caleb? Love it. Caleb. <laughs> so the salt is gone. Scrambled eggs without salt, and I can't find the pepper. I think I saw some other salt. This cupboard. Yes. Okay, good. Ding, 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 ding. That would have been a problem. That really would have been. This looks good. You want cheese on it, right? Definitely. Yeah. These are not really good. I love going up the canyon. Do 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 do. Cause I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden chance to make money. Look at the tunnel. There's a tunnel. Okay. Do you guys know to hold your breath when we go through a tunnel? Ready? Set? Go! I did it! Was it hard? Uh huh. Mama, so guys, when you hold your breath through a tunnel, you can make a wish. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Okay, on the way home, we'll have to make a wish through the tunnel. What? I say that. I, I know you. my wish I already. You. Are we allowed to tell? I don't know. What's the rule on telling wishes about tunnels? According to the law of wishes, if you tell the wish, it will not come true. Dun dun dun. Okay. No telling the wishes. The mountains are gorgeous, especially in the fall. So I'm digging through the car right now, hoping to find a pacifier. I didn't bring one. We always bring one, and we are gonna run into nap time, and we're gonna be hiking for a couple hours. Ugh. Okay, I just won the jackpot. I decided to go ahead and set up the stroller, even though we obviously can't take the stroller on the hike, and check, like rummage through it and see if I could find any binkies, and I found not one, but two. There they are. Our hike is saved. We're going to the first falls, and it's a little chillier today than our last hike. So in the Rocky Mountains, it gets one degree cooler every 300 feet higher you go. I'm already getting hotter. Me too. The jackets are off. And we can still see the parking lot. I think we've made it 100 right yards. Like there's the cars. <laughs> this is how far we've made it with our sweatshirts on. Oh, does she have some rocks? It's important yes. for a good hike. Bighorn sheep here because that's like perfect habitat for a bighorn sheep up there. And this is the best picture I've ever seen. I'm loving hearing all of Isaac's analysis, the compilation of all the books he's read about the mountains. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. All right, well these two are wanting a little break. They're nervous they may not be able to make it all the way. It's hard as parents because we want to push our kids and continue to do experiences even if it is on the edge of what they're capable of. We also want to teach them that they can push through hard things and do things that they may not think they can. Do you think you're stronger than this hill? No. You are. You're gonna be able to hike it. You're gonna be able to walk up and see the waterfall at the end. Come on, I'll hold your hand. I knew you could do it. Feeling a little tired? All the way tired. All the way tired? I'm proud of you, Laura. Can you hear the waterfall? Listen. Laura, I hear the waterfall. Do you hear it? Come on. Marco! They're not that far ahead. Come on. Well, Laura gave it all she got. She's getting a little rest while I walk with her on my shoulders. How's the hike, Laura? Good. You guys are doing great. Isaac and Elise are our fearless leaders. Sometimes being a mom is a lot like being a motivational speaker. Come on, buddies, we can do this. You got it. Step on up. Keep going. For bedtime, brushing teeth, yep. hiking to the falls. Good job, Cub. Motivational speaking worked. This view. Oh, my goodness. The 
the boys and I wanted to get closer to the waterfall. Hi, Mom! Hi. Yeah. You got it, Isaac? Yeah! If you want to climb up that, you can. Just stay on the outside where it's not mossy. So you guys happy we came up to the top of the waterfall? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, do you have your feet in the water? It's cold. Isaac is definitely a little hiker. So Jeremy and I both feel that it's important for kids to be able to adventure, explore, and do things that feel uncertain and unknown to them so that they can gain confidence in themselves and their abilities. You're cliff climbing Rocky Mountain crazy people. Spelunkers. And now we're going back down. Hi. Janae got a turn with daddy. She keeps looking back and waving at us. These aspens are so pretty. And then further up, you can see some evergreens. So Laura, aspens are these kinds of trees with the white tree trunks. Oh. Guess what? Utah has my favorite restaurant. So we are stopping here for lunch today. Zupas. So Elise is trying to decide what kind of soup. We bought all the food. After that hike, we are hungry. I love finding unique opportunities when we're traveling, and this place is rock climbing, but different than we've ever done it before. So we weren't sure how much Laura weighed. She's supposed to weigh 35 pounds. No, she's like 35 pounds. You made it! You can do it! Dude, the slide, you can climb up on those. There you go. Try it. You gotta have perfect balance. Good job, Cub. I love seeing the kids get a little braver each time. <laughs> That's so cool! Kate, let go! Dora is going up. She wants to climb too, I think. Dora is going up. Isaac found one with a timer. Okay, so we're gonna see how fast you can get to the top. Ready, set, go! 21 seconds, Isaac! 17! place called a climbing place. Because you have to climb. Oh, that makes sense. Keep climbing. Use those feet. Push, push, push. Oh my goodness. 35 Five. seconds. You did amazing. Last time it was four minutes and 50 seconds. This time, 35 seconds. I love it. I keep on meeting my record by exactly a second. So this wall has electronic quizzes, and if you get it right, it opens up the pathway up. And then there's another quiz here and another quiz up there. And so you have to outsmart the wall. What unit measures distance, ton, foot, or pound? Let's see if you got it right. Whoa! Time will run out if you don't get up quick enough. <laughs> He's 
climbing up no, that building. Wait. Just put your foot on this one. So this station has an extra strong pull up, and so if you're a lightweight kid, it's harder. It's really a lot harder. <laughs> she finished the maze. The creativity here is inspiring. I would have never thought of making a maze climbing wall. Yeah, you got it right! So this is one thing I love about Caleb is that he'll keep trying and working to try to solve problems. So Isaac's gonna do the big slide they have here. You gotta get on a special jumpsuit. Hold on, buddy. Isaac's going up the slide. Keep going! Keep going! Oh, okay, let go. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, do you want to do that again? That was rad. Yeah. <laughs> so they only have adult sized jumpsuits here. It's a little big. <laughs> okay, lay on your back. Okay, so when you let go, you lean your head forward, right? Yeah. Tuck your, your chin into your chest when you fall. And just have fun. You got it, buddy. You got it. All right, let go! Woo! <laughs> it's straight down. It's a straight down drop. What'd you think? Scary. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do it again? Aloha. Aloha. Hand sanitizer. It's a thing. Can you say mama? Mama. Mama. Saying again, again, again. Ready, set. I think they're getting tired. We're closer to bedtime. Again. Oh, you want to do that? <laughs> Nay <laughs> Nay, can you say out? Out. <laughs> Jay House. Out. Congratulations. Now you got it, bro! Yeah. I may be losing my mind just a little bit. Yeah. Mom, I just a little bit. 